Hi there. Uh, a couple weeks ago I posted a video of uh, how to build a DIY uh, tape strap for your <laughs> uh, solid state drive in order to pull it out from um, your, your Lenovo T420 because um, once, it, once it gets in there it's pretty tight in there and there's really no way to pull it out um, if you don't have a strap onto the hard drive already. Before I uh, tell you about that though, uh, you should always make sure to have your battery out of the computer before you start working with it. I should have said that in the last video too. But anyways, make sure there's no battery in there when you're working with it. Um, anyway, so here's the um, here's the uh, hard drive cover, and I'm going to take that off and explain what happened. I found out this week that um, the strap is actually a caddy. <laughs> I didn't uh, I didn't know that because it in the uh, the user guide that comes with it with the uh, this computer. It doesn't mention anything about that, and so it's not completely my uh, fault. It just says, I mean, this is my first laptop, and this is the caddy that, you know, it came with the course here. This is the caddy that I'm used to, you know, seeing. Um, so, and, and like I said, in the user guide, it only mentions um, removing the plastic side uh, uh, bumpers, uh, the rubber bumpers from the side, and taking them off the old hard drive and putting them on the new one. never mentions removing the hard drive from the caddy, but... As you can see, I've removed, uh, if you saw the previous video, I took the tape, the DIY tape strap that I built on there and actually put the, uh, t removed the caddy from the old hard drive and put it on this one. This one you can just take it right off. I didn't even see it. You know, I didn't even think about that. There's little screws here. You can take it right off and stick it on there. And um, it's a lot more, you know, it's, a pretty, it's pretty secure in there without the caddy, but you just have no way of taking, because it's, uh, it's a pretty small entrance. But you pretty much have no way of take, pulling it out once it's in there unless you have this caddy or uh, a DIY strap on there. But anyways, uh, this, uh, this um, goes right back in. It's really easy. Um, once you, you know, it's really easy to switch it out from the caddy. Just unscrew those four screws on there. From the caddy, put, tuck the strap back in. And one thing the uh, user guide uh, did show that was helpful. It comes in a PDF file. It's a user guide that comes in the computer itself. Uh, you want to push uh, this side. This is was always a pain in the butt to pack out, put back on for me. You want to push this side, the left side in first because there's a little uh, con a little clip here. Push the left side in first and then push the uh, right side in to in order to get it in. And uh, yeah, right. And it uh, goes right in like that because otherwise it's uh, kind of tricky to get it to stick in there. Uh, one, th one other thing I also noticed in my... Uh, perusing of the other uh, online videos is that the uh, this is a uh, T420 um, there's a and this the user guide that comes with this has about six or seven different T, uh, Lenovo T, T500 T420s and anyways there's a lot of documentation for other uh, Lenovo's that came out relatively the same time um, one of the main differences between the T420 and the T420s is they have this thing on the other side which is the Ultra Bay. In order to open the Ultra Bay, there's a little switch here. It has a lock and unlock on it, uh, picture on it. So, you know, it's pretty self-explanatory. This is the lock picture uh, clip. Uh, this is the lock switch right here. So you push this like this, and then there's a, another clip, uh, another uh, switch here with, that has an arrow on it. Right there, boom. This one right here. You uh, pull that, or push that, and boom, the drive comes right out. This is obviously a, a DVD drive, and you can um, s switch, uh, you can put a, a, a hard drive caddy in there as well and have another hard drive uh, available for the computer uh, if you need that. Um, you need uh, The caddy is sold separately, you can sell it on, you can get it online uh, anywhere on eBay, on uh, Newegg or whatever. Just Google uh, Ultra Bay hard drive caddy for a Lenovo T420 and you come, should come up with a, several results. Uh, they're about 20, 30 bucks. But anyways, uh, you can use this for the either the uh, DVD or the other hard drive. But um, in the T420, there's a T420. In the T420s, you can also use this drive for a battery. An extra battery goes in there. Uh, it only gives you about an hour or two, but still, I mean, it's an extra battery. Um, the T420, unfortunately, you can't do that in the T420. Um, most likely because it's a much more efficient machine at using battery life. Um, it has it doesn't ha it has the onboard chip uh, for graphics and onboard Intel chip as opposed to the Nvidia chip. It doesn't have a webcam and it's uh, it's an I Pentium i5 as opposed to a Pentium i7. So I think uh, the uh, uh, T420s uses probably more power and uh, from, that's what I, from what I've read online. I've never had a T420s. I only have a T, it's T420. 
Um, the battery I have in there, the regular battery lasts about four hours, and extended battery lasts about ten. So it's a really good computer on battery life in the first place. So they probably just figured it didn't need to have an extra battery. Um, but anyways, just want to point that out real quick that. Uh, as tempting as it is, just and maybe in the, uh, buy an extra battery and shove it in there. You can't do it with a T420 on the T420s. Uh, that's about it. Uh, I recommend uh, once again, you know, if you're looking for get a refurbished laptop, this is the one to get. Uh, the T420 is amazing. Uh, it's it's functional and uh, it's cheap and uh, it's really easy to upgrade and just uh, do uh, cool stuff like you know switch out uh, the DVD drive for another hard drive or whatever you want to do very uh, versatile anyways enjoy uh, upgrading and um, have a good night